Greetings everyone, Lumberg here. Today we're going to do a quick update video on the unworldly six star skills of officers. Um, thank you to a couple of people, um, Rola from 285, Saez from 52, as well as some others that gave me um, the unlocked six star skills of Maria. So now that is in the spreadsheet, the six star spreadsheet. It's the same link as before, it's just been updated. I also wanted to point out a couple of things um, in the update. So, you know, as I progressed through this, as I talked with other people, as I actually played around and got my heroes to six star, I did change some of the ranking of least and most desired. In general, the the, the logic that I followed is cross nation is better than regular. Um, siege is higher than I had it before. Melee HP and long range HP is a matter of, a matter of preference, but siege HP moved up. And then zombies basically moved up a little bit higher in the ranking chart. All of this is subjective, so take it with a grain of salt. Of course, you can, you know, build your account however you have it strengthened. There is no one way to play this, so keep that with a grain of salt. Um, you know, Maria is added really quickly. You know, her um, six-star skills is very similar to Katie. The big difference is that instead of having some of the melee HP skills, um, she has zombie uh, zombie skills. So not bad in terms of a long-range player. It definitely favors long-range players. So if you scroll down and find Maria, you can see here she does have the coveted long-range attack, so that is good. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that um, in her breakthrough skill, and you can kind of see it here in the notes that I added, um, uh, you know, at max level, there's a 20% chance to do... 200% uh, damage. At level one, there's the chance doesn't change. It remains fixed at 20%. What does change is the damage. It goes from 110 to, to a max of 200. So it slowly progresses over time. Um, let's get into the game. The, the only other thing I wanted to show here um, is when you look at your heroes, um, you know, what I didn't cover in my last six star video really is the, um, the update that happened to the game since. So I'm at a, at a stage where, um, you know, if you click on the hero and then click here on upgrade, once you have all, once you have it to six star, meaning all of these unlocked, this skill becomes available. If you don't have it at six star, for example, you can look at this hero here. I don't have it at six star, right? So you can see it's it's 5.3 star, right? So when you go to hit, you can remodel it as many times as you can, but you can't pick the skill. This button is inactive. So that button being inactive, it only unlocks when you have everything unlocked. So the reason I bring that up is, you know, when you have that pick one, you know, you may, the coveted ones that I really saved books for, because I have a lot of books saved, is for Aeon and Alexandria and that reduction of long range, da uh, long range damage reduction. So I can't pick that yet, and it'll p take me a long time. By the time I get this to six stars, it's going to take a long time and even longer time here to get this to six stars. So I'm gonna use the books. I'm gonna use, I have, if you see it here, and you click on the books here, you can see that um, if I go to actually pick one, come here and select it, you'll see it'll show you I have 500 books. So I definitely can pick one SS or five, you know, S. Let's talk about that briefly because I have been asked a couple of questions just on some, um, you know, what's the best way to re-roll and get these stats, and which ones do you pick why? What I like to do is I like to open up the game. When I'm re-rolling, open up the game and keep the spreadsheet in front of you, right? So open it up on your computer, a tablet, or something, so you can kind of see your range. So we're going we're gonna to look at Tifa, because that's what I have books for and I want to kind of set up. So have Tifa ready. Cross Nation Long Range Attack is going to be our focus. And that's how you kind of want to do your rerolls. I made a decision here, and it all depends on what you're going to do with your fragments. So for Tifa, um, I'm going to use my 300 books here and select a skill. Now, I like Siege. I like the Zombie HP boost. We're keeping those. We're going to go ahead and select, hit, and then find our cross nation. Make sure you find the right one. You definitely don't. There's no undo button, so make sure you read it carefully. This is increased attack of long range attacks in cross nation. We're going to select it and we are going to hit replace. So I'm gonna use um, 300 books. Remember, it asks you a secondary confirmation. Use that. I'm glad they have this feature in the book. We will select it, and we'll hit confirm. So that is a big boost in my LRA. I'm excited. And you can go ahead and also fortify it. You know, that's, and in terms of what to fortify, notice you'll see that most of my skills remain at level one until I decide they are my forever skills. 
if I decide that this is my forever skill, I'm going to go ahead and increase it. A good point brought up, a counterpoint, is that, you know, why don't you just increase all of them individually just to like, you know, get all of them to two because all of them to three and so on. And that's a good point raised by Dan. So I think that is also a good strategy. I just like the, the attack boost first. So I like to kind of focus my um, leveling up of the skills that way. So if you see here, this is my forever skill. I have a long range uh, SS. I got that luckily. And you can see everything else is at one. And then I took this to 15. A better method might be actually taking everything to like four and then this to 14 because you get better boosts. But I like big chunks of growth all at the same time. So we're going to go in here and uh, back to our uh, um, back to our Tifa. We're going to uh, fortify it. And we're going to take it all the way to, let's go to level, let's go to level 10. You don't want to use any more books than you want to. So that takes us to 12.6. So that's a nice, healthy boost in Tifa long range attack. I could use another S book here and select, you know, upgrade this from A to S, but that's not going to be my forever skill. So remember, I like to kind of focus and only use the book. So it all depends on where you are in the game, right? For me, based on the amount I spend, SS is my forever skill. So if I get SS, I keep them, I'll always lock them. S to me, you know, yes, it's it's great. You know, it might have to be that way, uh, but it's not my forever skill. So I'll be mindful about rerolling so that, you know, um, I use the XP at the right level. Uh, one more thing to consider here is that, you know, in terms of what to reroll and how to reroll it, you know, I, I don't, Tifa fragments are rarer and it's harder to reroll. So I'm, I'm going to actually pick the skills here. So I might actually save up another hundred books and then pick this to go into, you know, SS long range attack. And the reason for that is because I want to use her frags to work on her um, pretty neat breakthrough skill. So I'll continue to upgrade that one. Um, a good example here, and I'm going to show this here. Let's look at Morgan and uh, Saki, right? So in Morgan... When it comes time to what to lock and how to reroll, you can see that my Morgan looks pretty good, but I'm not going to really, we're a peaceful nation in terms of internal conflict. There's really no reason. There's many people that have this max rally, so his um, breakthrough skill is pretty useless. I'm, I don't need it, right? There, nobody really hits things by rallies anymore, and if you if you don't have yours leveled up, don't really level it up. I am then saying that all I want to do is use his fragments. You can see I have pretty good S skills, but I don't have an SS fleet. So what I did was, you know, I took some chances and you want to have as many attempts as you as possible to get this. And then I stopped here and then I asked a couple of people like, okay, I rolled SS, but I didn't, the only thing I locked was the SS fleet. That to me is my forever skill. I'm going to always keep that SS fleet. Everything else you know, these fleet is the main important things. I like wounded. I like everything in here. I like the mobility. All of these are important, but none of them are my forever skills. In the whole span of the game that I'll still keep playing, I don't like locking and wasting frags on what I would consider not my forever skill. So when I re-rolled, I did this and I re-rolled and this is what I got. So this seems counterintuitive to actually switch to this, but it actually does make sense because if you think about it, if I use my books, I have 148. It'll take me another 152 uh, fragments or unworldly books to get that SS. So I am going to actually replace this, even though it's way worse. You can see that the attack is down, but I just for demonstration purposes, I would actually replace this, right? Not, not for demonstration, but you know, it does make sense. So we replaced it and it actually got worse. But now when we're gonna remodel, let's hit remodel. This now becomes my forever skills, these two. So I can have, you can see, I have 19 fragments. I can do six rerolls. Hopefully we can get another good fleet in and see. If we don't get it, this is not bad. You know, AA for regular um, cross-nation fleet is not bad. So let's hit remodel and see if we get it. Um, we'll try again. Maybe we'll get lucky. So far, nothing else looks better. Um, this one does seem slightly better because I have the mobility. Um, I have the monster attacking fleet. But again, that's not necessarily what, I, what I'd like. You could lock, you could replace this, but we're going to lose fleet. Um, so this one is also dicey. Let's go ahead and replace it. So we did lose some fleet. I do like the mobility recovery, but it's not worth locking. Um, we will lock it. Let's try to roll one more time. And one last remodel. So 
we actually lost overall fleet, but that is to me is a, is a small sacrifice. And the reason why I did all of this, and you can see it here, like if we, if we uh, switched over and kept this or just not kept this last one, if I kept this and looked at the fleet monster, and then if I switch this to actually select, um, you know, if I did this and then selected my cross nation fleet at S, then I actually am at, at, at a net gain. We're not gonna do that yet because I'm gonna wait until I get another 200 books. So I did have a temporary decrease in my fleet size, but I did lock in this SS and you know some um, other decent skills, but that was a good demonstration of, you know instead of using 300 books to do it, once you roll, I just increase the chances that I get that SS, if, that's, if that makes sense. I know this can all seem a little confusing and there's no one right way to do it, but it is kind of making sense in terms of just one more demonstration, you know, what to lock here. We're going to do remodel. You can see my forever skill is my long range attack, which makes sense. I do like zombie HP, so I like that one. So I'll lock that guy too. This one's S, so it's not a forever skill. Um, and then this one's SS, but it's a defense and I'm not prioritizing defense. So if we did that, this is kind of what I would do and re-roll it. And, you know, we didn't really get much better, but we don't have to switch. So we're just going to say, don't replace it. I'll keep what I have uh, and, and you're done. But what you do with not locking too many things is just that's one way to do it. Other people would say, you know, you should always lock a good skill. So you would lock all four of these and just try to reroll the defense on the troops. You know, that that is certainly there's some merit to it. And that's another way to look at it. There is no one glove to fit all of these uh, approaches. Um, but that's it on six star skills and kind of using your books effectively, you know, go back to your, um, go back to this reference and then decide where you're going to spend your 300 or if you can save and you're patient that thousand books and get that SS, uh, you know, which heroes have it. It really helps to kind of think ahead and look ahead and plan ahead. That's all I wanted to cover, guys. This spreadsheet is updated. Uh, thank you for watching. Good luck in Frenzy and good luck with those getting a merger.